Orange. Gray is obsessed with alphabet songs. Yes, he's still half naked, hence why I'm covering him up. But all morning we've just been singing ABCs. He likes to sound out the letters now. So A says A ah, or A. B says B, B, B. So he loves singing those kind of songs. I wanted to give an update on how things are going. We are now one week post potty training and I wanted to give an update like I said. I'm repeating myself. It's too early in the morning and Porter keeps me up all night. So let me show you the stickers. I know you all really care. Look at all these stickers. You guys, he has got it down. It is going so well. Basically, every time I put him on the potty now, he tries to go potty. Whether it happens, whether it doesn't, it changes. But for the most part, he does generally try to pee and he does pee. And as of yesterday, he has pooped twice now in the potty. Once was about a week ago. It was on the second day of potty training. And then every time other that, he would not. He would poop in the bathtub or he poops in his diapers but he would not poop and then finally yesterday I just put him on the potty right before bath time and I said okay try to go pee and he pooped instead it was awesome so he is doing great not so great that he's doing is this past weekend Allison was over you saw in the vlog we went and got some supplies for Dakota's birthday party which is this Saturday I'm sure I will vlog it while we were out Grayson had two accidents so we put him in undies and I didn't try to make him go. Well, I tried to make him go pee on the potty. He wouldn't pee on the potty. We had to go. It was getting late. So we just went and he ended up peeing his pants in the middle of Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I had to leave Allison with Porter while she was paying and I hurried and took Grayson to the car and had to change him in the car in the parking lot. That was great. Then we went on with our day. We went to my parents' house, played in their basement for a little bit. It's a five minute drive from my parents' house to my house. He peed in the car in his car seat. So we had two accidents. Obviously he is not ready for the real world. He's not ready for undies yet, um, which is why I keep him naked from the waist down because he's still not ready. Um, the other day he was sitting on the couch and he was looking down, down there, and that's usually his telltale sign that he has to pee. And so I looked closer and it looked like there was like a little spot on the couch, like maybe he had peed a little. So I hurriedly like went and got him, put him on the potty, and he peed. So he's still not getting that like idea of, oh, I need to pee, let's go to the potty. It's whenever I put him on the potty, then he pees. So we're still working on it. He still has some stuff to do, but he is not peeing all over my floors, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you for praying for me, because obviously it helped. This is so much better than he, half a year ago when he was just peeing everywhere. You say hi? Hi! Say hi vlog! Hi vlog! Yeah! Hi. Say I go pee pee in the potty! I go pee pee in the potty! Do you go pee pee in the potty? Show them your stickers! <gasps> yeah, he likes to stick his head in the toilet, especially pee -pee once he's peeing. Pee -pee. Yeah, your pee pee goes in there, huh? So anyway, yes, potty training is going awesome. We still have a lot of work to do, but it's going really great. We keep getting more and more snow, so it's just more of a reason to just stay home and hunker down and try to get this potty training on lock. So I will try and vlog a little bit more today of different things that go on. The kids are pretty cute, so. Um, Porter's been really difficult lately. He's just having a really hard time falling asleep and staying asleep. Um, he's napping right now, so. I will update you guys later. I couldn't find Gray and I came upstairs and I walked in on him and there he was just lying on the guest bed just reading Hungry Caterpillar. This is his favorite book. He has had this book memorized for the longest time and honestly I'm thinking about making his third birthday party Hungry Caterpillar themed. I think that would be super cute. 
So yeah, I just had to get that clip because he was so darn cute just sitting there reading about the Hungry Caterpillar. He loves all of the Eric Carle books. I'm planning on getting him a bunch for his birthday because he only has Hungry Caterpillar and Brown Bear. He doesn't have like the Grumpy Ladybug or the Busy Spider or like anything like that. So I'm going to get him a bunch of those books and I think he's going to love it. Let me know if you have any ideas for a Hungry Caterpillar themed birthday party. Not quite sure how I'm going to do a cake for that, but I'm really excited. I think it's a cute idea. Are you pretending to eat the food? Good morning, Porter! Good morning! Did you have a good nap? Ah, he's always so sad and then we come in the door and he gets so happy. the happiest he ever is right when he wakes up from his nap after this it's all downhill and he just gets more and more fussy until i put him down to sleep again huh see i'm grumpy gus yeah gray always wants to get up on the changing table he's currently standing <laughs> on the rocking horse to get up there okay sometimes Grayson will get in the crew with Porter, but then he jumps and bounces and Porter does not like it and he ends up crying. So we try to stay away from that, huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> You're so cute. Look what my parents sent us in the mail today. These are Cheryl's cookies. And if you've never had Cheryl's cookies, you should because they are amazing they are so yummy they sent us these for valentine's day which is perfect because i go through cookies very fast lately because they are a reward for grayson going pee on the potty so this is perfect to give to him um i'm so pumped i didn't even know we were getting this grayson saw a package outside our door and said package and we opened it and we have cookies oh i love these cookies these are not even gonna last what you want a cookie okay say please mama can i have a cookie please okay let's let's give him one i'll give him a little one here you go Ooh, is that a cookie yum Cookie. Yummy cookies. Surprise cookies are the best. Mm-hmm. Sa sa star. Ta ta tree. Ta ta tree. Ta ta tree. Ta ta tree. Uh uh umbrella. Uh uh umbrella. Va va vulture. Va va vulture. He's very into ABCs wah, and wah, now. Wah. Sounding out the wah, letters. Wah, wah, watch. Xylophone. Xylophone. That one's a hard one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zebra. Z, z, zebra. Good job. And Porter is laying on the blankie here. He's chewing on this banana tea there. Kind of forgot we had it, and I pulled it out, and he is loving it. And I remember Grayson really liked it, too. So he's actually just content right now, which is surprising. Because usually he is very grumpy if I'm not holding him. My arms are killing me because he just wants me to hold him all the time. But he's happy right now. Watching Big Brother. Let's sing a song. Let's sing a song. Oh, you want to sing a song?
Good singing. Hey. Oh, wow. watching Grayson dance and he is just talking up a storm to him. Are you giving him critiques? He so wishes he could play with him. I don't know where he's going, but he sure is trying. <laughs> no, Pat, no, don't sit on that. Walk, walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. Hey, you! <laughs> <laughs>